So colouring in with a pencil is fairly easy to do. However, using an airbrush makes it a lot more difficult because you're not touching the surface and you need to control the amount of paint, plus you need great control over your double action technique. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your coloring in techniques or flat toning using an airbrush. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so the easiest way to color in evenly with an airbrush or get a flat tone, as it's better known, is masking. This is an aluminum composite panel which simulates an automotive surface. And I'm using a 3mm green fine line tape by Custom Creative. And what I'm doing is just marking out a basic rectangle to demonstrate why am I using this and not just masking tape. Well, masking tape, there's a good chance that it's gonna bleed under the edge. So I prefer using a fine line tape. You may still get a small amount of bleed, but it's a lot less than if you were to use masking tape. Now keep in mind, masking may not always be possible. On artworks, you don't always want a completely definite edge for every single tone or color that you're adding. So that's why I'm also gonna show you how to color in freehand later in this video. And I'm just using some regular copy paper and I've got a bit of uh, rice paper tape. This is also by Custom Creative and both of these are available through Spray Gunner. I'll pop a few links in the description below to all products I use in this video. And this is basically just going to mask up the surrounding area to control my overspray. And now just show you here what I'm actually gonna do. From a distance, I'm gonna spray lightly. And you can see the overspray there on either side. Okay, so that's an even spray. The next spray, what I wanna do is do a 50-50 overlap. That way I'm not gonna get any gaps. Like so, and you can see it's building up a nice even tone and I'm just gonna continue that. So now on the panel from a distance, just work it in. You can see how easy this is. It can be a nice distance away from the surface. Don't be scared going a fair way away. It'll just make life a lot easier and you have protected the outside area. Going lightly will also reduce the chance of getting any bleed. And it just lets your paint dry properly in between coats. You can also notice that even though I'm colouring in, I'm not just finding the paint and going like that. So I'm paint on, paint off, paint on, paint off. Just to build it up nice and evenly. So if you want to learn more about airbrushing, then why not check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. Now that that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and unmask it. So you can see a couple of spots on the edges there. So mainly on the overlaps, but definitely nice enough edge. Okay, so working on paper now, I'm going to just do a basic rectangle and this time I'm using a flesh tone. Now this is opaque, which makes life a lot easier for coloring in. So the beauty of opaque tones is that even if you muck up in the center here and start coloring in like this, you can virtually let that dry off and come back over the top and coat it and it'll disappear. So again, just controlling the overspray on that edge. Paint on, paint off. And gradually moving in to the center of the rectangle. And then when you're in the center, you can come back a bit further and dust over it and it makes it a lot easier to get an even coverage. So you can really see how easy opaques are to get them nice and even. 
still takes a lot longer than masking as you can see and a bit more control but you're not always able to mask everything so keep that in mind and also you're getting a naturally softer edge and this combined with sharper defined edges depending on what your artwork is can really help to make your painting look a lot more realistic you don't want to have it all too sharp and you also don't want to have it all too soft you can see it was a little bit patchy in the middle and I just kept coating it as I'm doing here just keep going over it letting it dry using the air from the airbrush to dry it as I paint and you can quickly get a nice even flat tone so that's flesh tone and that's an opaque color. So nice and simple one to do. Now let me show you how to flat tone using a transparent tone. This is a Scarlet by Illustration Colors by Createx. And this is completely transparent. And this is gonna make it a lot more difficult to get an even tone, but I'll still give you a demo. You'll also notice I've switched to the 0.18 mil PS770 GSI Creos this will just atomize a little bit finer making it a bit easier to control hopefully okay again starting at the edges I'm going to try and do this one as even as possible and then I'll just give you a demo of what not to do with the transparent tone. Again, paint on, paint off. Up nice and close when you're around the edges. You can see I'm doing a mini 50-50 overlap, which is keeping it nice and even. Same at the top. You'll notice I'm working in off the sides as well. I'm just making a smaller window in the center. So it doesn't matter if you're doing obviously a shape like this or if you're coloring a section of the artwork. Use these same principles, meaning that you start on the edges and then as you've got far enough away from the edge with your airbrush, meaning that you're in what I call the safe zone, then you can come back a bit further and you see how much easier it is to coat and get that nice and flat. Go back over it. That's pretty good. You can see all this is nice and even. You can see I've got a little bit of darkness happening here. And that's the thing with these transparent tones the more you coat over them they're going to get darker in a certain area so that's why you need to be nice and controlled with it that's probably as good as i'm going to get for this particular demo a lot of the time getting a flat tone to that sort of level is perfect enough because then you've got shading and highlights to go on it but the key really is to not rely on hiding things with shading or highlights you really want to try and get that as nice and even as possible. I wanted to do this relatively quick, but you know, for the purpose of the video, but if I spent more time, I could have got a nice cleaner edge. And also the surface that you're working on makes a big difference. If it's more absorbent, then it's a lot easier to get those nice crisp edges around that border. Now, if I paint very badly, so meaning not using this method which is paint on paint off paint on paint off if i just you can see here i'll do it at the top here so doing my 50 50 overlap and you can see how nice and easily i can get a flat tone and this is a lot easier too because i'm not trying to get a nice clean border i'm just from a distance building it up in one section but let's say you wanted to get something like that, but your method was like this. Watch what happens. So I'm not turning the paint on and off. 
just trying to color in like that, finding the paint that I want and just keep coloring in. And you can see how patchy that looks. See the heavier ends. So that's going to be very hard to remedy if you've done that on your artwork. So that's why it's so important to really focus on that double action, do your 50-50 overlap and paint on paint off for every single stroke. And that's going to help you get a nice even flat tone. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. To continue your learning, check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.